All right, Wookie crew. Libra. Let's see what we have for you. Funny story about your Libra guys. Okay, so the Wookie last night, he was being all pody because he had a long day and his mom was driving him crazy and he gets home like, you know, three hours after work. And I gave him a wedgie and I said, honey, you got a wedgie. And he, you know, makes his Wookie noise. And then there was like a little pocket. <laughs> So I stuffed something in the pocket. You've never seen anything more pathetic than a man walking down the hallway with his little monster Wookiee shoes or slippers on, pouting because he's got a wedgie. It was absolutely fantastic. All right, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Something you can call him Wookiee Wedgie. Aries Leo Sagittarius, source. What do we have for fire signs? All right. Nine of Swords Reverse. Trying to be more optimistic. Trying to just get with reality. Deal with something. What are they optimistic about? Ten of Coins. Oh, money. Well, one more. Abundance, money. Mm -hmm. Five of Coins. You know, I got a feeling that's kind of what they're thinking about here, though. <laughs> How do they see you? <laughs> if money comes up, I'm going to puke. Oh, I'd be careful. This is looking like somebody that could be codependent on you financially. Generally speaking, it definitely can be. Somebody that's codependent, demanding, expects something for nothing. <laughs> you get the seven of coins at the bottom of the deck. Does it make you wonder? How do you see this person? Oh... Did you drop their toxic ass because they treated you like an option? Did they make you confused? Did they make you want to play whack-a-mole? Four of swords, they make you restless. I don't know. I, this feels to me like this person is just kind of toying with you emotionally. Betrays you. I, this just per, seems like an impulsive person that's kind of in and out. Not really giving you any respect. I'd be careful with that. All right. What do we have for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Seven of coins. It's kind of like a now what? I have assessed the situation and ten of cups. I have decided you are worthy of my time. One more. Feelings, feelings, feelings. They're pessimistic though. What the hell is that? Not sure about the future. All right, what's the blockage? Five of Cups reversed. Okay, this person's not over you, but if they walked away or ended something, one more for blockage. Might be thinking about coming back around and trying to apologize, but they're still thinking about it. Six of Wands, they want to be successful. They want to win you back. How do you see this person? Three of Cups. Apparently you want them back in your life, or at least you'd be willing to hear them out or talk. Five of Swords. Ooh, that's combative, though. So they make you frustrated. You could have exchanged some shitty words. Judgment. Well, now that is a second opportunity, but it does seem like something's pissy on your mind. So what do you want to tell them? What do you want to tell them? Oh, they need to commit or they need to get with the program. There's something about them that needs to be more supportive there again can be financial. It's the first card that came out. I mean, I'm not saying that somebody's using it for you financially, but, you know, hair font. That is somebody that you want to be more decent, more honest, more truthful, behave. All right. That could be talks, at least, though, about getting back together. It does seem like you'd like to try. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Six of Swords, Reverse, and the Two of Wands. Thinking about coming back around. Do I go this way? Do I go that way? I have two paths and page of swords, but this person can be a little bit insensitive or this could be very unexpected. So they're being quiet about it. One more. Strength. Yeah, are holding back. What's the blockage? Blockage. Blockage. Nine of cups. No. That's selfish energy. I do whatever I want. I'm so used to having anything that I want. So why would I want to give it up? Be careful. This person could be not actually single. And there's that codependent again. Nine of coins reversed. Somebody that overindulges. Are they overindulging on your couch? How do you see this person? 
Eight of Wands. You'd like to have less things as a distraction or in your way, but you would like to see things move in a better way. You do have feelings for this person. Eight of Wands, wanting to talk, wanting progress, but that's also not wanting any obstacles in the way. What do you think is the obstacle? Eight of Swords, something that they have to let go of, which can be baggage of any sort, any sort. It can be another person. It can be their attitude. I don't know. That little page there it can be a real sneaky little shit. So just be careful. I just feel like this person, either they're lying about being single or they're extremely codependent. But you do have feelings for this person and you would like to see them be more straight and narrow. Or you're going to just go... 86. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, the lovers. Those look like little jelly beans. They're rubies, but they they look like little jelly beans. Okay, four of cups. All right, this person misses you. They're in a pity party. Not looking at other options. Not interested in anything. They're trying to heal, or they're trying to be optimistic. Actual blockage. Blockage. This person lied to you about something. They got busted. I mean, they do have feelings for you, but they think they let you down or disappointed you. I and mean, that's if they're being honest with themselves. But you got the Queen of Coins reversed here. <sighs> Is this person in another connection or were they reversed? Yes. No. How do you see them? It can also be trying to be more transparent to you. Did they learn a lesson? Did they learn a lesson? So you consider them kind of like a peon, Knight of Cups, and then they need to apologize to you or come your direction. Be more romantic. And the Chariot. You feel like they're kind of a candy ass and a manipulator. I. What is with your shit today? Be honest with yourself. If this person's a manipulator and candy assed away from you, could have been for lots of different reasons, but coward, arrogance, lacks direction, gives up easily, does whatever they want for themselves. Lovers could have been another option, could have been busted, but now they love you. Well, but I miss you. I still hope. Well, you feel like they better hold back. And uh, you stay away from me until you get your shit together or I will play whack-a-mole. God, you guys got some... Heavy energy. Let's see what we have for singles. Source. Who's going towards my singles? Because that was a lot of... All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Intention. All right. King of Wands. And Ten of Swords. Really? This person could have just gotten out of a connection. Otherwise, they're going to break your heart. Ten of Wands. It's not anybody that's going to stay and have your back. So be careful. It can be somebody you already are aware of. Well, what are you guys cursed for the day? Well, let it just be for one day then, correct? Yes. All right, let's get a clean deck. Okay, so what is their damage? I become jealous when I don't get enough attention. Well, that's 50% of the population. When I feel that I'm right, I become defensive and refuse to listen to the other person's views. Well, that's the other 50% of the population. So what are you dealing with, a Ken or a Karen? Why, yay, yay. All right. You have the overall energy of the hair front, card of the deck. You have the three of coins. Now, this can be trying to reconcile or have somebody try to work together or try to get back together, do the right thing. Can be meeting a Taurus, somebody new. But you got the four of pentacles. So it seems like you're kind of holding on tight to your value or your scruples. And then you have judgment that was right underneath it, the hair font. So let's see what we get. Person most on their mind. How do they see Libra? How do they see you? Eight of Wands. Pushing forward. There's that feeling of not wanting any blockades, not wanting, you know, they want a clear view of you. They want to understand you clearly. And there's that selfish energy. <clears throat> Nine of Cups. You make me happy. So that's communication. You make me happy. Well, happy's good. How do you see this person? Hanged man. 
and the Ten of Cups reversed. Okay, you feel like this has been dragging on long enough, although you have feelings for them and you wonder if it's actually going to go anywhere. Why am I waiting so long? Why aren't you committing? So what's their damage? Source. The sun. Pessimistic and they like to lie apparently. Hold back their feelings. In the very least, they aren't admitting their feelings. They're not actually telling you how they feel. One cup missing. Kind of pessimistic, not sure about the future. So this person can be holding back with committing because they aren't sure what. That you're the one for them. It's a little doubt there. One more for that Seven of Swords for damage. Okay, and then we're reversing that. So this person's not really giving you much to rely on. They might be waiting for a better opportunity. They don't get the full picture of shit. And then the Six of Wands. Okay, so this is like, stroke my ego, make me feel good about myself. I need attention. I need to be acknowledged. I don't feel pretty. Make me feel pretty. How do they actually feel? Their actual feelings. Seven of Wands. Okay, they feel like you're not changing your mind about wanting a commitment. They feel you are not changing your mind, that you're standing your ground about wanting to commitment. And this is kind of like weighing the options. This is a good idea. Is this a bad idea? Is this a good idea? Is this a bad idea? A little bit of a commitment fold. How do you feel about this person? What are you, sugar mama? Ace of Wands. You would like to see this connection grow more. One more. You do have passion for this person. A page of swords and his death. Page of cake or death. Cake or death. Page of swords can be a sneaky little shit. Very insensitive. They can be very quiet about their emotions. And then death is they need to change or you're just done. So although you'd like to see this grow, one more for the ace of wands for feelings. That's more lust than love. Nine of Wands. Well, you're not tolerating any more shit. I'm not taking any more shit. Or you'll just give up. Walk away. You've got a chip on your shoulder when it comes to this person. And it seems to be all around commitment. Hangman, is this person going to offer me what I'm looking for emotionally? Are they going to fulfill me emotionally? Are they taking me seriously? Can we work this out? One more for their son for their damage. And there that's kind of an attention haul. It's all about me. Why can't you pay more attention to me? Maybe are you working too much? Queen of Wands. If you don't pay attention to them, they'll go find it from somebody else. That's just straight up. And that can be this page of swords. What you don't know don't kill you. Their action towards you. King of Swords. Cold. Defensive. Very difficult to live with. No. Resting bitch face. Resisting the role of the hair font. One more. Their action. Judgment. And the lovers. One more for the lovers. Okay, well, if they're... If they're abandoning you or they're feeling left out of a connection, what connection is it? I feel left out of this connection. I would like to have you back, but I'm cold. One more for judgment. Constantly looking for validation. Two of swords. They feel like you're really judgy. Uh, that's really not taking much. The five of pentacles is not really talking much. No communication, suffering. That's, again, the feeling of codependence. What action do you take towards this person? Nine of swords reversed. Very similar. You're facing life. You're getting your balance back. Letting the stress go. Two of cups. 
Five of Swords reversed. Okay, if this person came at you and they were more optimistic than pessimistic, you'd still want them in your life. Five of Swords reversed. You need to drop the drama. They need to apologize. They need to make you less frustrated, but you're not really taking much action either. That can be going at them with an apology, and keep in mind, rules can be reversed. But Ten of Swords, yeah, I don't feel like you're over this person, but you're getting ready because it's like you're hurting, 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 and it's all you can think about. Think, think, think. This is something that you would like to hold on to, but at the same time, they're up and down with their emotions, and they can be paying attention to other people because they are an attention hole, and they get jealous. If they don't get enough attention, well, what do they do? Even just playing flirty, flirty. And if you have to watch them, what's the point? There's, this is possibly you have two threes. Possibly a third party doesn't have to be, but they think you're all judgy. I wish you'd stop pushing about this. I wish you, you know, but they're kind of in this, who's making the first move? Well, I don't know that you are. You're not looking at any other options. You're not over this person, but you're not sure what to do. So I feel like you're waiting. Likely outcome. Likely outcome. Devil. Be careful. Because that's temptation. Temptation because you have feelings for that person. Are they, okay. This can be somebody that might eventually try to come up with a plan to scheme and weasel their way out of this predicament that they've gotten themselves into and push on your love buttons because the Queen of Cups is very forgiving, but this person's got toxic ways. And if it's just attention and therefore... I'm almost right. It's never about you. And they're always taken off if they don't get what they want. Or if they never, if they feel undervalued, then they're going to continue to play games. A fool. I feel like this person needs an awful lot of attention. Impulsive. Just be careful. You got the three of cups here reversed. So although you want this to go better... I don't know that with the Three of Cups reversed and the Fool, you might just end up starting over. I don't know how many times you've played Rewind on this record, but it's just looking like it's the same thing over and over and over. It's all about me. Oh, we're back together. Oh, you could be an option. And then I leave. They need to do the right thing. And I think sometimes they think about it. I do think that this person has feelings for you, but I think they love themselves a hell of a lot more. Not that you shouldn't. You should. But this has to be more balanced. And with this hangman, you're waiting and waiting. And you could be the one that's sacrificing and sacrificing. I also can say that you left somebody else to give this an opportunity with this person. Just saying. What do we have for singles? King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Their intention. Two of Coins. All right, that can be flexibility. Let's hope it's not... Six of Wands, they do want to acknowledge you, they do want your attention, but maybe they could have more than one option. Careful, careful, a little bit embellishing of bullshit here in Nine of Swords Reverse. Not completely honest, a little bit cocky. So they like the attention, but they might, you know, be in and out, in and out. Possibly the type of person that leaves you behind, makes promises they can't keep. They're stirring up drama. Oy vey. But they could stick around. What What the f I'd run. One more for their two of coins. Cool. They've got more than one choice. Ugh, fucking dating. You know? Platonic lesbianship, I always say. Strength, hold back a little bit until you get to know this person better because they can be somebody that gets a little bit pissy or very jealous. And then they can blame you, like turn it around and snowball your brain and make you think, well, you're flirting and they act like they have something to be jealous of. Just be careful. Oh my God. Stay in a cave for a day. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries. Sorry, guys. Aries, Leo, Sag. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces again, Capricorn. Yeah, I feel like you're hurting because of this. It's like, and not that you are committed or want commitment or this is a marriage. It doesn't have to be. 
this can just be like, can't we just try to make, you know, have a compromise on what's the right thing is to do and not have a third party involved? Ah, Aries Leo Sag. Taurus. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Heavy, Gemini, Libra. What else signs are in here? Uh, stroke my lamp. Oh, if we had a genie, wouldn't a genie be fun? A genie would be fun. All right, we're getting the sassy Wookiee deck out for you guys. All right, for Libra, source. To their person. Smile. Don't cry. Say fuck you and smile. One more. Oh, maybe two. Jealousy. Oh, see? You're my ex. That means I no longer owe you any answers. Don't worry about who I'm with now. It's not you. Mm. Faith. Which part of fuck you do you not understand? You gotta like the nun here. You see the nun, guys? Yeah, he gets these sassy decks. What are you going to say? All right, Libros, that was a toughie. But like I said, this is a lot of people. This is a very big majority of the population. This could be anybody that's been in and out of your life. All right, Libros, that's what we have for you. And on we go. Scorpios, Elemental Quickies. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. If you guys want a good laugh, go back and listen to the first 30 minute of Libra. Okay, five of swords reversed. This person is regretting something that they said. Some bitter words. They were frustrated. They didn't mean it. But, you know, sometimes when you're pissed off, you say things you do mean. So now they're acting all disappointed. Woe is me. I'm not over you. I shouldn't have been an asshole. What's the actual blockage? What's the actual blockage? Star. Pessimism. Lack of faith. Being disappointing attitude. Ten of Wands. They just kind of give up too easy. It's like things get too heated and they just <laughs> screw this. A little bit of a temper issue, possibly. How do you see this person? How do you see this person? Four of Wands reversed. All right. Well, you're in a breakup right now and you don't really want to talk to them. You might be teaching them a little lesson by putting them on ignore. Queen of Cups, but you do love them. So, you do, you do, you do care about this person. But at the same time, you might know that it's too easily, or if this is something that's been happening more than once, and it, they keep pulling this kind of argumentative crap, you might be secluding yourself so that you don't give in too easy so that you can think about this. Because with the three of coins here reversed, it's saying that you're having a hard time seeing where this is going to go and if they're ever going to be on the same page with you. It's like they're possibly critical of the efforts that you put into it. So that's kind of in limbo. I think that one's going to be up to you. But they are regretting their attitude. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Eight of Wands. And then we have the Tower reversed. All right, they want to talk. They want to come in. They want to get rid of the, the barriers. They want to be able to see clearly. They want a straight path to you. They want to talk about not having things end. They're in denial. One more. I do not want the tower to come down. I do not want to be done. Two of cups reversed. Now, that, I'm saying that you guys had your words and there was a breakup here. Blockage. Oh, that can be a connection that's been a cheater, first of all, but it can be a connection that's been very on and off or they're in and out of your life. Ace of Wands, not a good sign. Risky business, trust issues, false starts. You, you know, bad choices, not good. One more for blockage. Hangman, not completely sacrificing anything to give you what you want. No progress. How do you see them? Nine of Cups. Five of Coins. And the Ten of Coins. Okay. One more for the Ten of Coins. Five of Cups. I feel like you're just walking away from this. It's like 
they do whatever they want to make themselves happy and they come and go as they please and you're trying to take care of the household and you you're trying to get your shit together but you're just walking away i don't feel like you're forgiving this person they needed to be more reliable honest and they could have stepped out of the connection but there's a feeling of regret remorse and disappointments here it's like i'm just taking this loss wanted it to go somewhere but judgment reverse you feel like they were stepping back into old ways and that could have been player ways here with the ace of wands because we're reversing that somebody that's in and out of your life possibly playing footsie footsie with somebody else and not committing ouch but they want to talk and they want to come in really quick and they want to get rid of any barriers well that means you have to get rid of a few side pieces then doesn't it all right cancer scorpio pisces the world taurus leo scorpio Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Okay, Nine of Swords. This person's possibly feeling guilt. Let's get one more because they're all up in their head. Their head's racing. Do I move on? Do I close this? Or do I try to reach out? Why the Magician? Death. Mm, I think they caused this ending. Why the Nine of Swords? Their action led to this. Eight of Swords reverse. This is somebody that likes to turn the blame around. So they might just be releasing this, but they are feeling guilty about something. And this can be somebody that tries to come in and tell you that you're responsible for this. You know, like they try to brainwash you. How do you see this person? Three of Cups and Queen of Swords, you're blocking a reconciliation. Blocking a reconciliation. You're acting as if you don't care. You have a chip on your shoulder. You're just like, uh-uh, I, I can see just fine. Cold front. Not dealing with it. You are pissed. One more. Queen of Pentacles. Is this two? Reversed, yes. No. Respect my authority. You don't feel like they were giving you enough being practical. You feel like you were putting the work into it. You feel like you were supportive and they weren't. Seven of Pentacles reverse. So it's like this is a waste of time. But it does seem like you go back and forth in your mind about this. Two of Pentacles. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Uh, what's love? Who wrote the book of love? Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Very warped chapter. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Temperance, and the Knight of Swords. One more. Devil reversed. I will drop my toxic ways in a fucking heartbeat if you will give me an opportunity to get to know you. But I feel like this person's a little codependent and they're looking for some nookie. What does this person actually want? Lovers. Oh, yes. Give me lovers, please, Swords. Give me lovers. King of Swords. But they do want to be taken seriously. This is kind of quick action. They might not be the best verbally, but the devil reversed is saying that they would drop anything that is toxic to try to have an opportunity with you. Nine of Coins, that includes being single, but they're very sexually interested in you. Now that, how do you see this person? Take me seriously. Okay, King of Cups, emotionally mature. Six of Swords, you want things to go smoothly. Nope, don't feel like you can get on the same page. Okay, I mean, if you gave this a little more time, this could work out. I do feel like this is a new person, and they may be very difficult to get to know. Because the King of Swords can be very cold, cold front abrasive i do think you're having a hard time getting on the same page with this person but it does look like they could put more work into it give them a little bit of if you're interested because it does look like they make you anxious but i do feel like if you gave this person a little bit of an opportunity they'll even prove themselves one way or the other all right but they can be a real stickler and have some major wookie resting bitch face okay let's get a clean deck Okay, what's their damage? When I feel unworthy, 
I go into hermit mode with no explanation. So you get put on block. Oh, I love ghosting. It's so much fun. When I'm not confident with who I am, I will act in superficial ways. So they're a little polar. All right. Overall energy, we have the world. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. And then we have the six of wands. This can go a lot of different directions. This can be you moving on and getting attention from other people and having a victory moving away from this person, but it also can be them trying to come back around and get your attention. Source, first and most on their mind, their thoughts of Scorpio. Ten of Pentacles. Mm, one more. Six of Cups. Mm. Okay, so this person's having a hard time getting over you. They feel like the two of you belong together, but you got some bad memories here, too. Actual feelings. Five of Swords reversed, and the Page of Wands. So they're okay, a little bit immature, a little bit... They could have been gotten their ass chewed for being a little bit of a flirt, too. But they could feel like you owe them an apology because you were flirting. Mm, I mean, that's very small. It's not really affection. Eight of Cups. Ooh. Why the Eight of Cups? Devil. Yeah, I feel like this person walked away for a toxic reason, and it could have been another person that caused an argument, and they didn't want to fight about it, so they just walked away, feeling like you expected too much from them, but they still might try to come back. What's their actual damage? What's their actual damage? Okay, codependency, slow as hell. Nine of Cups, it's my way or the highway. I want this and then I don't, I get it and then I don't want it anymore. I overindulge. Knight of Pentacles, I'm never completely offering, but I'm kind of making promises that, you know, lead you to assume that this is going somewhere, but then, you know, I kind of drop it. One more for the Nine of Cups. One more for the Nine of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. They give you reason to doubt and the Page of Cups. They're actually, I mean, there is some emotion there, but they sure the hell ain't no Ten of Pentacles. Uh-uh. Page is tiny, small. This can be an apology, but this can be an ongoing thing. I do whatever I want. I'm codependent. I overindulge. I'm, you know, lead you to think things are going to go. I'm going to make all these promises to you, but then I never completely invest. What's the actual blockage? Okay, they're conceited, they're a prick, they're cruel, domineering, they only care about their own needs, they're impulsive, can't hold them down, aggressive, can be a cheater, impatient as hell. One more. Me, 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 me syndrome. And then they, there's that, I go in to ignore. Where to go? There, hermit. Hermit mode, so reverse it. I'm just not going to deal with you. I just don't even want to talk to you. This is just a waste of my time. Stubborn. So they can go into, you know, zone where they try to pin it all on you. Mm, how do you see this person? Four of Pentacles. You feel like they hold back, you feel like they're selfish. But you do have feelings for them. You also might feel like they owe you an apology. How do you actually feel? Actual feelings. Death. They need to change or you're done. One more. Nine of Wands. I mean, it twists your gut in knots. It puts your brain going in 50 miles an hour constantly. This can be something that's like they're never changing. It's always inevitable. This person's got to be different. So you're trying to, you know, it's like, can I leave the past behind? All I do is worry. One more for feelings. Five of Wands. Why should I have to tolerate this shit? Why do you tolerate it? It seems like something that's been on and off. It could be that you, they're very unpredictable. And, you, you know, and when they come in and they want to argue about something, you don't feel prepared. And you'll fight for what you believe in. 
but you don't feel like this person's always honest with you and they hold back to their feelings. Holding back. What action do they take? This person is a roller coaster. Three of Swords reversed. They might try to come back in. One more. Four of Cups. I don't think they're doing anything right now. Waiting, waiting, waiting. They're in a pity party, so they could be telling people, Scorpio did this, and I don't know what to do. You know, it's like they play the pity party. One more for the Three of Wands. Justice. They're getting some karma, but are they willing to have a resolution with you? Because this would be trying to get back together, but they're just feeling sorry for themselves so right now. They might not think that you're interested in getting back together. Three of Wands, anticipation of getting their ass whooped. What action do you take? They need the justice stick. All right. Queen of Wands. Well, that would be a turnaround. Queen of Swords. Is this two? No. All right. I feel like you know your value. You know your worth. You're going to stand up to this person. You're going to be like, you're going to tell them what a drama king or queen that they are. And you're guarding your heart. You're going to tell them that they cause shit shows. I really feel like you're going to give it to them. One more. That they confuse the shit out of you. And you, you, you go, it just keeps continuing and continuing and you're breadcrumbing me. So you get this feeling of up and down and all around and roller coaster. And I feel like you are just going to let them have it and tell them that they're an attention hole. They're always seeking attention for the wrong reasons. You're going to be brutally honest with this person and say, I'm tired of the drama fest. This continues to happen. And then the six of coins, it's like always disappointing one-sided you do this and but i can't do this it's like a double-edged sword what's the likely outcome other than a piece of their ass missing two of cups you might take them back Ooh, one more for the high priestess no 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 one more for the hangman. Be careful. That person might be with somebody else. Because the Two of Cups, if this is the outcome here and you're not sure about what's going on, this can be a hidden person. You're using your intuition and waiting because it's like, ooh. Is, this, is there a third party here reversed? Yes. Page of Pentacles reversed. They are involved with somebody else, whether it's whatever but it, this is just it's too much drama too much drama ten of swords hiding secrets keeping you waiting figuring you'll forgive them i can come in you know i can come in and out of your life whenever i want to one more outcome i feel like it's healing time and standing your ground I don't feel like you change your mind once you do make up your mind, but I feel like this person goes in and out of your life and somebody else's too. There's judgment. I feel like you're waiting for something better, but boy, are you having a hell of a time? This is like train wreck hell. They push on your emotional buttons, but they keep secrets and they're an attention horn and they're up and down and they're, we can be together, and but they don't sacrifice and they cause shit shows and I feel like you're letting them have it. And you can be letting him have it because you found out about somebody. Let me tell you about. I mean, we did clarify. I said no, but I feel like they're getting some karma here. But it does look like they might try to reach out and think that you're just not interested. This person is in hermit mode where they just don't talk and they got a major attitude. Major attitude. But they could be trying to come in to get your attention. Okay, so we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo. Libra, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces again, Scorpio, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, 
Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, but all signs are in here. And this Eight of Cups can be walking away. I'm emotionally looking for something else. And then they come back. They can be seeing you coming in and out, but this is not a healthy relationship. All right, let's get out the sassy Wookiee deck. Let's give them one. Let's give them one or two. Desire. Fuck off. I have enough lovers. Ooh. Swords. These are just for fun, guys. Release. There will always be someone who wants to ruin your day, if not your life. Ooh. No, they're not ruining my Scorpio. Freedom, keep calm and stay the fuck out of my life. Karma, I believe in karma. What you have done to me will return to you. Oh, I like that one. Okay, I don't know. This person is superficial. I do feel like they keep secrets. And when you're in hermit mode, you're not always learning a lesson. Sometimes you're hiding things. So be careful, Scorpios. On we go. Sagittarius Elemental Quickies. If you're dealing with the Aries Leo or another Sag. Source. We have Justice. Ooh. Well then, I would like to come at you right. I think you're a decent person. I have an honest offer for you. Mm. Wow. Bit much. Bit much. All right. What do you think of them? Oh, snap. You're still trying to heal. Is it from this person reversed? Yes. No. You're not ready for this. This is a lot. How do you see this person? Okay, I mean, you are curious. You're interested, but it's like they got to slow it down a little bit. It's like, I will marry you. You're confusing me. You're a little overwhelmed here. <laughs> One more. Optimistic, though. I still think you're working on healing. You have two cards of healing. Still trying to get beyond the past here. Curious about you. I'm not looking at any other options. This person seems to come out of the blue when you're least expecting it, and you're not really ready, but they do have very, very good intentions. All right. So you just need a little more time. This seems like somebody that comes into your life, you could meet them in a gathering. Doesn't mean that, I mean, their intentions of long-term, yes, but can meet them in a gathering and you just, it's like things have to go smoother. I'm not going to be ready for this. So you're kind of hemming and hawing about it. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Queen of Wands. I want your attention. Oh, maybe not so much. No, that's a third party fucker. So I was lying to you about the other person. Well, how wonderful is that? A relationship consists of two people, not three. So why are you still here? Page of Swords Reverse can be a real insensitive bastard. Does things unexpectedly. Does shit behind your back. How do you see this person? Done. Ding. Fries are done. You see them for the attention. Hold that they are. So you know what they did. I know what you did last summer. Tower. I feel like you just, I mean, this person, this could have happened. Obviously, it usually does without you completely knowing. But if they were trying to hide this, and it does look like they were, it does look like they could have been busted. This is somebody that's selfish. Uh, sorry, guys. Yucky. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. Two twos. Juggling the idea of moving forward, tossing it around in their head, going back and forth. <sighs> hmm, why the four of coins? This person feels like you're not going to accept any apology, any anything. You're not going to open up. They feel like you're defensive and not changing your mind. What's the blockage here? Nobody's moving here. What's the blockage? One more. You could have released this person and saw them for who they clearly are. And then, you know, just not wanting to do... You felt pissed off, frustrated, bitter words, angry, not wanting to deal with it anymore. This person could have walked away from you. And then the you know, blockage, reverse it. I'm seeing clearly now. I don't want to argue with you anymore. You said some really bitter shit. You walk off. You're also headstrong. 
could have stepped out of the connection, but as somebody that is a control freak, three of wands reverse can be that arrogant person that makes you feel like they're stringing you along, so you're staying quiet. You want some time to yourself. You are guarded. So they know that you're guarded and that you're sticking up for yourself and that you have the higher ground, but they're still kind of going back and forth about this. This seems like somebody that goes in and out of your life, but boy, you know, it's like they, fine, fuck it. And then they regret what they've done. Dum, dum, dum. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Empress reversed. This person might think that you've let yourself go. They can see you as codependent, demanding, smothering. One more. Oh, but they still have feelings for you. Why is the Empress reversed? Did they walk away from you? Was this a third party reversed? Yes. No. Okay, I mean... Are you ignoring the shit out of this person when they want to come in with an apology? What's the actual blockage? You're not interested. Bad memories. Waste of your time. They could have hurt you, but you're just not dealing with it. How do you see this person? Hangman, not committing. They, If they weren't treating you like the Empress, you're not interested. Or font reverse. You might feel like this person held back. I feel like you're giving this person the cold shoulder right now, but you could feel like I was waiting for, you know, respect. I was waiting for this to go in the right way. I was waiting for something supportive. I was waiting for you to act like an adult and you always held back. Not really going anywhere, but this person could be coming in with an apology, even though that you're pissed off. If this is the kind of person that ghosts you in life and, you know, leaves you, now they feel left out. Yeah, maybe they're couch surfing elsewhere and they're not happy about it, but mm -mm -mm. all right, let's see what their damage is. I display codependent behaviors when I have feelings of low self-worth. That's that Empress reversed. Low self-worth. When I can't keep up in a conversation, I begin to act arrogantly and rude. So if you are, that's one of those people that if you're right and you're having an argument, they get pissy. They get pissy. You guys have the overall energy of the world. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, cut of the deck. You have the Queen of Swords and you also have the Eight of Discs here. It seems like you're not tolerating somebody that wasn't putting work into it. This is something that you wanted to continue but you also have the Eight of Cups, emotionally trying to move on. Queen of Swords doesn't trust nada and won't accept anything and is very cutting. This could be starting completely over and not tolerating this person's crap anymore. Could be denying your feelings. This person could have been a manipulator, but it feels like there was gossipy bullshit and you're just kind of isolating yourself right now. I will add, too, that usually when somebody can't keep up in a conversation, it's usually because they're wrong and they don't like it. Okay. How does this person see Sagittarius? Source. How do they see you? Seven of Swords reverse, Telling it like it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then the Four of Cups reversed. They want a change. They want to take action. They're trying to get you to reconsider. But they feel like you're saying... This is how it is. They also might be like, well, they saw me for who I truly am. Kind of like, you know, the ins and outs of this person. Their actual feelings. Four of Wands reversed. They feel like they don't have a leg to stand on and that you have closed the door. They have major insecurities here about the connection. And the Two of Swords, they feel like you're judgy. But nobody sits like they're being, they're being indignant and they're, they're, I'm not, I'm not going Sagittarius's way. I'm not saying anything. They're going to have to come to me. What's their actual damage? Eight of Cups. Well, it seems like they bail the ship before it sinks, even if there's somebody else in it. And they're, they break hard. I mean, and this is somebody that can be very 
cruel and they resent things that are said to them. I mean, if you make one, everybody's human. So if you make one comment that they take the wrong way, they stick it in their back pocket and they don't let it go. And anytime an argument comes up, well, you said, and you made me feel this way. So they're a finger pointer. So it looks like they emotionally just bail out. One more for the Eight of Cups. Ten of Cups. They just bail out. They don't understand what it's like to be able to keep the equality in a connection. One more. And then the Ace of Wands reversed. Uh-oh. That's not feeling good about themselves. It's a lack of trust. It's a possibly risky business. Could have been somebody that made a bad choice. But this is somebody that could be in and out that could have caused a third party. The Two of Swords reversed also can be dropped because they caused a third party and that they weren't committing. But this is looking like you see them for who they truly are and they do not like it. It's like, you know me better than, I mean, they you know their every move. How do you see this person? Five of Coins. Emotional poverty, not talking. You're trying to be more optimistic and just face reality. What are your actual feelings for this person? Knight of Swords, one more. And the Eight of Coins. Okay, you feel like they've got, I mean, this is you kind of avoiding confrontation. The Eight of Coins is they're continuously acting like a, you know, snippy ass. One more for the Knight of Swords. Impulsive. Always in and out. And they make you feel like... And then they act Then they act this codependent shit where, don't cut me out. Don't do this. Blah, blah, blah. They're so up and down. I feel like they've got major mood swings. One more for the Eight of Coins. Fool reversed. Yeah, you're, you're just not taking any chances with this person anymore. You feel like they're, so I hate to say it this way, but they've got a lot of baggage. Deep down baggage. And they don't see clearly, but you see them for who they clearly are. What's the actual blockage? Ace of Swords. They're not completely honest. There's some red flags here, lies, hesitation, denial, deception, pushiness, slow to actually commit, walking away when things get too rough. One more for blockage. Three of coins. They act like they're a loner. Nobody understands them. And it looks like they give up too easy. We're reversing this. There could have been another person involved, but it could have been not necessarily. I mean, it could have been screw fest, but it could have been somebody. Well, this person understands me better. You know, it seems to be between two people that are in love or have feelings for each other or in a connection. Once you add sex to it, it fucks everything up. You can be friends with a person and not have the same emotions and expectations, but this person expects you to do things for them and to understand. And it's like, what would they're supposed to, you're supposed to candy ass and sugarcoat your words because they can't keep up or they don't understand a big word or they feel inept. Low self-value. Likely outcome. No, uh -huh. I mean, I feel like this person is going to try to kiss your ass, but with the queen of discs, they're never completely respectful and not reliable. And that can be somebody that steps out of the connection, wants something for nothing, lazy, hoping for change, but not doing anything about it. Greedy, neglects their partner. They've got small energy, you know, small, that's a small apology, that's small emotions. This person's got a lot of deep-seated crap. Their action. King of Cups, woe is me. They're, I mean, they're acting like this is all on you. Poor me, poor me, poor me, poor me. 
Sagittarius doesn't want me. I feel like this is the big fat woe is me. I put all this attention into them and they don't care about me. Ten of coins reversed. They don't know how to be in a long-term connection. They don't do anything stable. They can be financially reliant on you. But this can be somebody that's a deceiver and steps out of the connect. They're not doing any action towards you. One more. Mm -mm. No. They're looking for somebody that has finances. That could have been you. This is somebody that needs stability, but they're, they're codependent. That's codependence right there. What is your action? Nine of discs. That can be somebody that lies about being single as well. Two of cups. Ace of oh, You're waiting for a better relationship. Waiting for a better opportunity. And you could be manifesting this, but I feel like you're choosing to go into a different path. You're not stroking this person's ego anymore. I really feel like they laid some major, 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 major guilt trips on you. Ooh. So I feel like you're just moving on. Hang man, it sits in limbo forever. You may as well snip it, have arts and crafts time. It seems like you could be going a different direction and you might already have somebody that's paying attention to you. Ooh, look at that. Could be the king of wands. See what we have for singles. Who's coming towards my Saggies? Aries Leo Sag. Intentions. Ten of Wands. They're a hard worker. What else? But they might have a lot. Ooh. I don't know. I mean, this person is very optimistic and they want to be happy. But they might be at a distance for work. So this might be a little bit of a snag. How do you see? I mean, look at that. Can be at a distance, can be at a distance. Hard worker, but there's something that they have to, there's a snag here that they might have to sacrifice something, which can be time to be able to come see you or whatnot, but they're very optimistic and they're daydreaming about you. So this is somebody yet to come, but they, they're positive. They're initiating contact with you and trying to put the work into it. So that could be anybody, but this does look like a decent person trying to get to know you. So we do like that. So Leo, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer. Yeah, I know. I took half the deck out. Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Codependence. A lot of codependence in here. And this is the feeling of being blocked. Ah. Uh, Everybody hates being ghosted. Why do people do it? It's cruel. It really is. All right. And there's no stability here. Four is our stability. And they're both reversed. No stability. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Okay. For fun only. Okay. The sassy wookie duck. All right. Source. Sagis. Fun only. Verdict, if you don't like me, remember it's mind over matter. I don't mind and you don't matter. Yeah, yeah. Abundance, fuck you, I was worth it. Oh, that's for sure. Abandonment, I have a mission to, I don't like the word hate, to despise you, forget you, and leave you. It's called Mission Impossible. No, it's called Mission Possible. Yeah. Silly, silly deck. Should be missing... Let's play a game of fuck off. You go first. Well, I do like that one. Okay, that's just for fun. All right, Sagis, that's what we have for you. Let me go. My Capulets. Elemental Quickies, if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, Swords. Ace of Swords. Ooh, Clarity, Truth, Honesty. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Mm, one more. Oh, we got two more. Okay. Six of Cups, Three of Wands. You might be waiting for this person. They do anticipate the two of you getting back together. So this is looking like they want to clear the air. This also can be somebody new that you are just familiar with that wants to put a work into it, but they're kind of holding back and waiting. Why the Three of Wands? High Priestess. They feel like you're giving them the cold shoulder. They're not sure how you feel. How do you see them? 
lovers and the sun. Well, I, you know, if this is a reconciliation, you'd be happy with it. But you do feel like they're holding back. So you feel like this person is ignoring you. Give it a little time. This does look like somebody that's thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. But they actually have to talk, talk, talk. But it could happen quicker than they think, even though they're kind of sitting on the fence. Right now, they're just watching you. Really? Stalker. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Six of Swords. Two more. Temperance. This person is walking away, trying to heal, trying to get collected. Two of coins. They're not exactly sure that this was a good idea. How do you see them? All right. Ten of Wands. So you're like, smooth sailing now, motherfucker. Ten of Wands. You're taking this heavy. One more. You might want to try to talk this out with this person. Seven of Cups reversed. And the Page of Pentacles. I don't know. This is looking like you're sick of the immaturity. This person left because they needed to have more time to themselves. Get their balance. They wanted you to have more patience with them. Now they're thinking it wasn't such a good idea. It can be somebody that's been very in and out of your life. But this can be you going, ah, smooth sailing now. You were kind of a blockade in my road of life. This, you know, taking it hard, feeling like there's a burden here. Seven of Cups, I've made up my mind. This person wasn't committing. They weren't, what do they have, B.O.? You're not interested anymore. Mm-mm. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Devil reversed. Two of Swords. Okay, this person knows that they have to change their ways to get you to open up, but they might feel like you've judged this incorrectly. You were too judgy. Don't make it your final decision. Not yet. They're trying to have courage. But this does look like somebody that's actually trying to make a change. The Emperor... I'm going to be reliable. I'm going to be stable. One more. Yeah. You know, this can be a person that overindulges in things, drinking, etc., whatever the case may be, but they, they do have feelings for you. Restless. How do you see this person? Page. You don't want to talk to them. You don't feel like they're stable. It's like, I'm curious to know how you're doing, but at the same time, I don't feel like I trust your offer just yet. You don't feel like they have it together yet and that they don't have a backbone. So right now, I feel like you're making them wait. It's like, I don't feel that you're ready. I don't feel, and I do feel like you're trying to be transparent. You're not holding anything back, but their anxieties, you're just saying, maybe eventually, but I'm holding back right now. You're avoiding this. Not confrontation necessarily, but you're telling them like it is. So I don't feel like you're trying to be grudgy. I do feel like this makes this person feel not good enough or inept. But it's like, I can't stroke your ego and make you, do, you know, I can't, I can't fix you. So it's like you see them trying to heal whatever this is or make the change, but can't do it for them. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Three of Cups. Let's all go out and have a pint, shall we? Six of Pentacles. All right. This can be meeting somebody new that's very fair and balanced and has something to offer and they want to be generous and spend time with you. Share their time with you. Ten of Cups. Again, the feeling of meeting somebody out in group settings can be out for drinky treats. And then, oops, did you fall in the sack? This person's very passionate towards you. How do you see them? How do you see them? Nine of Pentacles, very independent, good, good looking, looking good, sharp. But Queen of Swords, you are guarding your heart. I hate to say that this seems like a little bit of a oopsie, but it's like I have, I'm interested in you, but I'm not sure this is going anywhere. So you're a little bit anxious here. The moon kind of popped out, but this is somebody that's like not sure. So you're going to have to assess the situation. I mean, there's a lot of sexual tension here. They are, I have a lot to offer. 
Well, yeah, everybody does when they're drunk. But, you know, I just feel like this is meeting somebody out. And you're going, you're awfully independent. I better guard my heart. I'm going to, you know, stay on my toes with this person. But I am interested to see if this could go somewhere. So this seems like meeting somebody new and just not being exactly sure what their intentions are yet. Okay, so what's their fucking damage? When I don't feel in control, I begin to act in impatient and demanding ways. Okay. When I'm disconnected physically or emotionally from my partner, I begin to feel scared and lack confidence. All right, a little bit of a Klingon. Demanding Klingon. Okay. Let's see what we have. Hangman for your overall energy. Let's get a cut. King of Wands. So I do feel like this person wants to take action, but there seems like there's been some stagnancy here between the two of you. The King of Wands is standing up for what they believe in, trying to get what they want, usually does get what they want. They can be very attractive, but they can be very aggressive. And when they feel inept, they act out. Like if they're jealous, then, or I mean, this they... Mm, Temper, a little bit of a temper or uncompassionate type of person that's hard to hold down. All right, how does this person see you, my Capulets? Five of Pentacles, not wanting to talk to them. They feel left out. You have abandoned me. You know, they feel disconnected, all right? Three of Swords, bitter, resentful, hollow, empty feelings. Three of Cups, they still want you in their life. One more for the Three of Cups. Take me back. Yeah, I want to be with you. How do you see this person? Ten of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. You're not so sure. This person could have been in and out of your life. One more for the Two of Pentacles. The world. It seems like this has been on and off and on and off. There's the stagnation. Are you ever going to commit? You feel like they're wishy-washy. You say you're going to do one thing and then you do another. You say you're going to do one thing and then you do another. Why the Ten of Coin? Page of Cups reversed. So that's somebody that's a little bit on the sly side at times, but emotionally, just not there. And you have the Nine of Pentacles. Sometimes they act like they're single and they want their freedom. And sometimes they, sometimes they feel like a nut. Sometimes they don't. They don't always act like they want a long-term connection. Your actual feelings towards this person. Ten of Cups reversed. You don't feel the way you used to. You lost that loving feeling. You don't feel like it's stable. Two of swords. You're not doing anything. There's major stagnancy here. You don't want to see it. You don't want to make a choice. You don't know what to do about it. So you're just choosing not to deal with it. What's their actual damage? Three of wands. They could be stringing you along. Arrogance. Constantly frustrated by the, their own damn skin. Lovers, they could have treated you like an option. And the Empress. Mm, why the Empress? Six of Pentacles. They feel like they have a lot to offer. But this person could have been breadcrumbing you. And did something not so right. Because we're reversing when we say damage. Justice, lies, bullshit, finger pointing, stepping out, needing to take accountability, could have treated you like an option. The Empress does not get any respect. They could feel like, and this is terrible too, they could feel like, well, you let yourself go. So, you know, I had to go somewhere else and find a piece of ass. But they're just feeling sorry for themselves and they're in this pity party. Lack confidence, scared, yes. Control when I don't feel like I can control, I'm impatient and demanding. Yeah, they go elsewhere if they if they they don't wait. One more for the King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Yeah, I feel like they toy with other people. I do. I feel like they look for attention, even if they don't actually act on it. They look for attention from anybody. This could have been a third party, but they look for attention. They're kind of. Otherwise, they don't feel good enough about themselves. They need somebody to build them up constantly. What action do you take? 
Three of Coins, Ten of Wands, more. Okay. So you're all up in your head. You're watching this person, but you don't want to be treated like an option. This can be trying to get on the same page as this person, but you feel like it's too much work. Queen, uh, Queen of Cups reversed. You feel disappointed. You don't feel like they're actually ever going to get their shit together. What is their action? So you're not taking any action. Hang of Pentacles. Mm, I'm going to, but then they fall short. I'm going to be reliable. I'm going to be stable. I'm going to be all these wonderful things, but then they fall short. One more. For action. Death. I just see that this person, if they don't change, it's going to be done because you're not going to be treated like an option and you don't need any more shit shows and you don't need to be all up in your head and constantly wondering what the hell this person's up to or what, what's going on in this connection. It's confusing. What's the likely outcome? Two of Wands. Knight of Swords. I just don't feel like you're tolerating any more snippy bullshit. You have a chip on your shoulder when it comes to this person. You feel like they're constantly up and down. You know, it might be hard to swallow, but this might be saying that you're going in a different pattern. You have the Six of Swords here. I need things to go better. I don't feel like you're doing anything. I don't feel like they're really doing anything. They might be telling other people, I put all this work into it and blah, 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 blah. But they can be wanting to try to work things out. But I don't feel like this person's ready to commit. I feel like they hold back. And it's their own problem, you know, emotional issues. They don't have enough confidence. They always feel like you're pejorative towards them or, you know, cutting them down. Even though they're like, well, I'm trying to act like the King of Pentacles. And you're going, really? No, you're not. Especially if they, you know, toyed around with somebody else. They have control issues anyway. All right. What do we have for single, 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 singles? Who? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Intentions. Careful. All right, holding back, five of cups. They miss somebody else. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. One more. Okay, hold off because this can be a new opportunity, but they are missing somebody else right now. So they've got some regrets. They could have lied to somebody else, but this is looking like they snuck away from somebody else and left them behind. Be careful because they might be putting on a show, a facade of the overall energy of the hangman. Don't wait. If you feel like any red flags come up, run. How does this go forward? How does this go forward with this new person? Page of Swords. No, 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 no. Hold back a little bit. I do feel like you'd be interested in this person and feel like they have a lot to offer. It looks like they put on a very good show. I'm very mature and I'm very... Yes, yes. And then you take the icing off the cake and then you'd have to be watching them. Like, what else are they doing? Who else are they talking to? Courage, strength, holding back a little bit. So be careful because I do see that you see this person like, wow, but not so Wow. Sorry, guys. So, Leo. Twice. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Pisces. Oh, attention, home. Stroke my lamp. Rub my ego. Scorpio, Libra. Disrespecting, not ready for big boy, big girl stuff here. Libra, Taurus, Gemini. But they want you back, even though they've hurt you and they're ignoring you. <sighs> yeah, all right. All right. For fun source for my cappies. Center. I'm having one of those days where I want to set your fucking face on fire. Oh, okay. Imagination. If you could stop being a drama queen. Yeah, that'd be great. And then apathy. If you don't like me, I don't give a fuck about you. Fuck off before I get unfriendly. Ooh, she's wicked. 
All right, Cappies, that's just for fun. That does look like somebody that you're really frustrated with. I mean, it's it's stagnant right now. It could go any direction, really, but that's what we have for you, and on we go. Aquarius, Elemental Quickies. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius source. The moon. Two more. Eight of Wands. Oh, you're making somebody else anxious. Oh, they think you're elusive. You're mysterious. So they want nothing to get in their way. <laughs> they want to come towards you, but they're not sure. They are interested in you. They're hoping that you're open. They're looking at something good. Let's see what you think of this person. Eight of Coins. Ooh. Somebody you would want to continue seeing. Temperance, come here. New connection. New connection. Getting on the same page. Checking each other out. Just getting to know each other. This is really nice. How does this move forward? We like it. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. Seriously. A lot of screwing and a lot of emotions. But starting out, building blocks. Slow to go. But they do find you extremely mysterious. So they want to know your nooks and crannies and get to know you better. Very nice. New love. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You playing coy. Two of swords. Reversed. You are judgy. Are you? The world. They think that you have moved on. But they think you've been too judgy. They might want you to change your mind. Devil reversed. Oh, honey, I will drop my toxic ways if only you give me another opportunity. I think you've been a little hard on me, dear. Hair font. I'll even commit. Oh, boy. Full of shit. They're either lying about being single or they're codependent. That could also be afraid of having somebody in their life that expects too much from them. How do you see this person? Queen of Swords. I will cut you right down to the bone. You're just denying any feelings. You're holding a grudge. Confrontational? Sure, bring it on. If they come at you, you're going to have a major cold front. Two cups? That's a no fucking go. You're not interested anymore. You might let them have it, but you're cutting them out. This is truth and clarity and seeing clearly. This person might try to come at you with, I want to clear the air, and you're like, too much ice on my heart. Sorry, but not happening. Oof. Please go the fuck away. All right. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. The Sun. The Seven of Pentacles. This person's considering coming your way, initiating contact, wanting to spend time with you. This can be somebody that knows that you have high expectations, but they see you as hard working, solid, practical, and that there could be steady progress. They see that you like a solid environment. We like this. Your thoughts. Okay. First, you get the background check. First, you get the Spanish Inquisition person. You want to know more about them. Seven of Cups, not going to be treated like an option, but it's you're not looking at any other options or don't feel like they're looking at options, so I think you're very willful. You might already know this person, but I do feel like you'd be comfortable with them, and I do think that you are interested. You're just a little bit guarded. So yes, you have high expectations, but this person's optimistic. Seven of Pentacles, let's see where this goes. It's kind of like, like let's, let's give it a try. Nice. Very similar, very similar, very similar. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Two came out. Okay, this person feels like you're avoiding confrontation with them and that you have a choice to make, and they're like, what are you going to do? I'm getting pissed. One more. Somebody that's a little cocky, demanding, Ten of Cups. I want you, I want you back. But this is for their own selfish reasons. So what's the actual blockage? Fool. Okay. 
So we reverse that. You're not willing to take a chance with this person. They could have self-sabotaged their own ass here. They could have been distracted by other things, but the, you just feel like this person is not serious, not ready, that they make impulsive choices. You're not risking it. And Six of Pentacles, you feel like they breadcrumb? You don't feel like this is something even. You could be getting even with them. They could be getting their paid dues. But you don't feel like there's a sense of security with this person. One more. And then the Five of Cups. I feel like you're just letting it go. It's like you d disappointed me. Your actual feelings. Nine of Wands. Guarded. Five of Wands. I feel like you've had enough of the drama. Five of Wands is the, the feeling of enough of this crap. I'm not fighting with you anymore. It's not worth fighting for. You feel like this person's changing unpredictably all the time. And you're unprepared or they catch you off guard when they try to confront you. Four of Pentacles. I feel like you're holding back and determined to do so. And you might have somebody new coming in. So they might see that you have another option and they ain't liking it. Well, that's too bad. That's too bad. Okay. So let's see what we have for their damage. Source. When I feel insecure, I put on a false mask to hide who I really am. Hmm. That's anybody when you first start dating, though. I gotta say that. I will start an argument when I cannot verbalize my feelings correctly. Okay? So they stutter on their words. They, they have a hard time trying to express them, kind of like I'm doing right now, have a hard time trying to express themselves. You have the emperor. That's wanting stability. That is being in charge. So your energy is like, I'm in charge. And then you have the two of wands that was right underneath of that. So it's like, I've got two paths. I'll do whatever the hell I want. But you're doing something that's going to give you stability. And then you have the lovers. It's like, I'm looking for a soulmate. I want something long-term. I want something reliable. I want somebody with a backbone. Now, this can be this person coming in to try to make this happen. But your energy is firm. These are two fours. That is stability. How does this person see Aquarius? Six of Wands. We can get over this. They want to be acknowledged. Page of Pentacles. Well, that's not much. They feel like you might have friends on them or that you're just treating them like they don't live up to your expectations. Like, uh, the Page of Pentacles isn't much. So they're very like, I'm trying to be the King of Pentacles and, you know, like you're being pejorative. Like you're just saying, you don't, you're, you don't measure up to what my expectations are. Their actual feelings. It is Swords. They don't know what to do. They don't want to be cut out of your life, but they feel stuck, stressed out. Critical issues, and they're cold. Cold. So they have ice around their heart. This is somebody that should be able to talk clearly, but they might stutter and clam up when they get pissed off. So this is somebody that is very logical, very intelligent, when they're calm, cool, and collected, but the minute that you get them where they're lying or not not in the right, they just lose it, okay? Because they're not easily influenced, but they're not seeing the truth of their portion of the issue. What is their... All right, insecurities. What is, what is their actual damage source? They're a manipulator. They want things to go their way. I'd say questionable intent. The tower. They're constantly dodging bullets. Trying to keep things afloat. Causing shit shows though. And they could, could, could have treated you like an option. But this is somebody that has problems with communicating clearly and respecting their person. One more. One more. Two of Pentacles. They think you're a fucking human slinky. I'm sorry, but you're not. They can't go between two people. Mm. 
What is the actual black edge? The world. One more. They toy with you. This is somebody that can be very in and out of your life. One more. One more. Pessimistic. Disappointments. Attention hole. They need to have their ego stroke constantly. The king of wands can put on one hell of a front to try to, even though they might feel inept down deep, deep, deep. When they feel insecure, they put on this big, I'm good enough. I don't care. I got everything going on. But this person down deep, deep, deep is restless as hell. I think you're fucking human slinky, though. How do you see this person? Done. One more. You're disappointed. You feel like they emotionally manipulated you and caused this ending. And you're not dealing with the drama anymore. It's like, I'm not, fight, not fighting for this. You feel like they're persistently argumentative. Your actual feelings. Hang man. You don't know what to feel. It's like this person makes you wait and wait and wait. It's like, am I willing to sacrifice everything to make this work? I might just let this go. It's like this person didn't... What I want isn't quite possible. They're not willing to give it. But you do... I mean, you would like to see this grow, but at the same time, you're saying this isn't... It's not. There's stagnation in the growth. They only go so far. One more for the Ace of Wands. All right, and that's selfish. So you could feel like this person, you could have wished to have this person and then regretted it, or this person is just so selfish and they overindulge in the Queen of Wands, looking for attention constantly. They could, could, could have stepped out of the connection. What action do they take? Devil. Ten of Swords. Oh, they're having a good old fuck fest over there. One more. Yeah, they're not committing. They're doing whatever they want. They're feeling sorry for themselves. Poor me. This is somebody that doesn't have any respect, and I feel like they treated you like an option. Well, I got this one for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then, you know, Monday through Friday, and, you know, I this. No. No, no. What is your action? Your action. Five of Pentacles reversed. They, okay. I mean, if they tried to come back, you're just going to be agitated, apprehensive. Feel like they're impulsive. You're trying to avoid this shit. You're not doing anything. You feel like this person's breadcrumbing. Now, you might key their car to try to get back at them, but I feel like you're telling them like it is. You see them for who they really are and hope they learn a lesson. There's red, red flags here with this person. That can be hiding somebody that you found out about. So I don't feel like there's any trust here. Now, it doesn't have to have been a third party, but they're definitely not committing. And the hermit here is going, I need to think. Leave me alone. Major red flags. Hidden agendas more to it you're hesitating this is telling them like it is seeing them for who they really are how is the likely outcome source all right you have the ace of swords reversed i don't feel like you want the confrontation but the sun i feel like you're moving on for your independence sake Three of Swords reversed with the cut of the deck. I feel like you're trying to heal and move forward. Enough stagnation. And you could have somebody new coming your direction. You could also be dealing with kids. Or this person's just that damn childish. I mean, if they think. But the Ace of Swords reversed is just like too pushy, deception. Don't want the verbal conflict. Don't want to exchange any more hurtful words. You're insecure about this. And there's major, major red flags. I feel like you're trying to be optimistic. Turn your back on this so that you can try to be positive. So you're trying to what, fucking be Pollyanna. 
Ah, uh, you guys. What do we have for singles? You're trying to make the most of where you're at. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What are their intentions? Okay. All right, they know what they want. They're not checking out other options. This is good. Ace of Cups, I'm looking for new love. And there's the page. So interested in a connection, flirting. Let's spend some time together. See how we click. Let's screw like rabbits. So they're interested in spending time with you. Mm. Do you feel like you're given a, a background check? But this does seem like somebody that's emotionally secure and mature. So that looks much better. This also can be after a period of healing for you. Okay. But it does look like singles are doing all right. Not being treated like an option. You are not the human slinky. Seriously. Leo. Aries Leo. Sagittarius heavily. Virgo. Libra Taurus. Aries Aquarius. Leo again. Pisces. Scorpio. Heavy Aries. Singles, that means you should be meeting somebody new soon. Capricorn. I feel like this person's just doing whatever they want. Aries, like they just toy with people. False mask is right. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Scorpio, juggling act, Gemini. All signs are in here. Hey, stubborn one boy. Not completely honest. All right, for fun only. We're getting all the sassy wookie deck, Aquarius, source. All right. Infidelity. Fuck you for cheating on me. So it may have been action. If I was a bird, I'd know exactly who I'd shit on. I have said that. I like that one. I haven't seen all of these yet. Strength. I will not keep calm and you can fuck off. Self-elimination. If I really was a bitch, I'd make your life either living hell. But instead, I'll just sit back and watch you do it yourself that is very true i just feel like you are just letting this person dig their own damn shallow grave all right aquarius is that what we have for you and on we go pisces all right elemental quickies what do we have for aries leo sag elemental quickies source aries leo sagittarius stubborn Mm. I don't know. This person's very willful. They want to be content. They want to be happy, but that is selfish energy. So what makes them content? What are they wishing for? Ugh. They don't want to be smothered. Really? One more. But they want an opportunity. Yeah, great. One more for the Empress Reverse. Nah, be careful. This person might be dealing with more than one person. I feel like they're hiding a secret to begin with. And this is somebody that's not looking for commitment. We're not even going to fucking bother going any further than that. They've got other options. Be careful. So I feel like you're dealing with masked man, masked woman, hiding behind mask. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wheel of Fortune. I want a big change. I'm looking onward in my life. I'm looking for good things. It is fate. They feel like you're kind of closed off, though. Oh, they want to hold on to you. What is it? What is it? What is it? They want to hold on to you. Open up to me. I am so interested. You're so sexy. Curiosity. Are you open? Are you open? Are you open? This person wants your attention. Willing to fight for this. I feel like they're afraid of competition, though. How do you see them? Okay. I would like to get to know you. Charming. Charming. So giving this person an opportunity. This does look like a new beginning. This looks nice. It is fate. Yes. This is nice. They could have a little bit of a jealous streak, but nothing major. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Oh, well, this person just wanted their independence and now they're kind of regretting it. They're sucking it up as a loss, but they're not, they're not, they're not giving anything to show you. They're just waiting, holding back. They're not committing to anything. 
This person could have been a little bit in, a little bit out, and you kind of gave them the word that that's not how this works. How do you see this person? Rule breaker. You are not going to be juggled. So, no, no. You're going to check out other options. You feel like this person's been hemming and hawing long enough. I don't feel like you want to deal with this shit anymore. Defensive. I mean, you're not tolerating any crap from this person. You're you're very much standing up. You're frustrated. You feel this could have been bitter words. Hope they get karma. They want their independence. They got it. They got it. You asked for it. You got it. Toyota. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The lovers. Gemini energy. Ace of Wands. I want to screw your brains out. You could be my soulmate. Or, or what? Ooh, but they're guarded. So they want to take a chance, but they might feel like you're not quite interested. How do you see them? Oh, you're optimistic. You're daydreaming about them. I feel like you're being very apparent and very transparent with this person, but this looks like a nice connection. It really does. I just feel like they're kind of feeling underdoggy and I'm not sure if you're actually interested in them. But the communication and the respect is there. So this looks very nice. I feel like everything's out in the open, mature. You're interested in seeing where this can go. You're daydreaming about them. It's like, I can't wait until I know more about you. That looks nice. It does. It does. So you got some new and old. Well, that's okay. Okay. So let's see. What's their damage? All right, here we go. When I feel unloved, I will emotionally detach instead of expressing my emotions. Hmm. Pity party person. Pity party person. A triple P. When I feel overwhelmed and not in control, my behaviors become manic and compulsive. Ew. 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 All right, see so what we got for energy. You have the Emperor. Right underneath of that, you have the Nine of Pentacles. So this can be you standing your ground and maintaining your independence. Let's see, cut of the deck. Oh, somebody thinks you are a human slinky, huh? Just like Aquarius, I believe that was. Don't go back and forth in your mind and give in to your stability. I, I feel like you really need to stand your ground. So let's see what we get. What is that person? How do they see Pisces? Eight of Wands, they feel like there's a lot of barricades here, and the Moon. They feel like they don't know what the fuck to think of you. King of Pentacles, they feel like you expect too much. Really? You might be telling them to fuck off because they're keeping secrets too. How do you see this person? Page, not living up to your standards. If they're, if they're the page of pentacles, you friend zone them or you just don't feel like there's any stability here. No stability. What else popped out? King of Cups and the Lovers. You might think that they have somebody else that they're talking to as well. Let's just... Why the Lovers? Mm-hmm. Well, if, the, if you're not talking to them, then who are they talking to? One more for the King of Cups. Okay, no, you don't trust this person. You feel like they do what they want. You're not making any move towards this person. This is somebody that you feel like they have a hidden agenda, that they're up to trickery and misleading. Manipulative, to say the very least, but very, very questionable intention. Possibly treating you like an option. You are not a human slinky. How do they feel about you? Devil. Oh yeah, there's a lot of passion there. But they could be trying to lead you on. One more for the three of wands reversed. You frustrate them. They're arrogant. This is somebody that wants to clear the air with you. Well, how can they if they put so much shit in the way? How do you feel? All right, you got your doubts here. You're wondering if this was ever going to get off the ground. It's like, was this person willing to invest? And then you have the Eight of Swords. You feel stuck. 
emotionally, not a good feeling. One more. Queen of Cups. Well, that's forgiving. That's emotional, though. But this is looking like disappointments for your heart. Eight of Swords. Critical of yourself. Trust issues. Are you not seeing the truth about this person because of your emotions, even though they weren't offering much? What's their actual damage? They're manipulating. They're cold as ice. They act like they don't care when they really do, or they hold back emotions all together. Talk, talk and smack. Ugh. Attention home. Conceited. Mean bastard. Aggressive. Jealous or a cheater. Can be, you know, accusing you of something because they're doing it, but you cannot hold this person down. They're uncompassionate. There is just cold, cold. One more. Ace of coins. Well, that ain't much of an offer. They do detach emotionally for damn sure. And as far as control and manic, this person is so up and down. It's just hard to understand where they're, and it's all about them. They're selfish. They could overindulge in things that's not good for them, but I don't feel like you can trust them. <coughs> Excuse me. You see how he's holding the swords? They leave evidence. Seven of swords. Lying, cheating, holding emotions back, not being honest, sneaking off, walking away. It's too much work. You're too much, you're too much work. What action do they take? Hold them back. They don't know about balance. They're optimistic, but they're holding back. They're optimistic, but they're holding back. Are they trying to heal? Do they need to up their dosage? One more for the star. I feel like they're moving on. I feel like you have figured them out and they're moving on. One more for action. No, they just don't. I mean, they, they're they risky with their choices. They're uncertain. They have trust issues. They, they're, they delay. They're up and down and up and down and up and down. And they could have cheated. What is your action? Fuck this shit, I'm out. Let's move it on. Clear air waters. Don't watch them. You feel like this person's a little snake. You could be feeling like they're watching you from afar, but this is somebody that you just, you're holding back. You don't feel like they, you're always kind of watching your back. They, they feel insensitive and you've kind of had it. Page of Swords is kind of watching your back. Trying to keep an eye on what they're doing. It does look like you're being acknowledged by somebody else, but this is moving forward with your head held high in respect, even though this person put your head all... I mean, they've really... They did a number on your brain. Made you anxious. Don't let this person convince you that you're the problem. Outcome. Done. No good memories. Done. Nine of Cups. You need to do what's best for you. You need to find your emotional happiness. And I don't think it's going to be with this person. The Tower is one hell of a shit show. And boom, down comes. Big fast. Let it go. Let it burn. Bad memories. Having a hard time getting over them. But you need to do what's best for yourself. That's called self-love. Maybe overindulge in some Ben and Jerry ice cream. But do not let this person feel like you are responsible for, make you know, stroking their ego and making them feel like they're all that in a bag of chips. Because this is just looking like you have trust issues with this person and you want things to go better in your future. You want to be acknowledged. It's not going to be by the, this crap. And then the high priestess, they keep secrets. It's red flags. You're using your intuition. You don't want any more drama. What do we have for single source? Who? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
intention. Four pentacles. One more. Mm, I'd be careful. This is somebody that might be holding back and thinking about going back to their ex. So this is somebody that knows their value, but they might be valuing the wrong things. One more for the four of pentacles. Yeah, you know, I just feel like they're... They're not going to change their mind about wanting a reconciliation. But if that's somebody new coming into your life, they're, they're looking for an even exchange, a.k.a. screwing. You know, and I feel like they will be honest with you, but don't wait. Don't wait. Because this person is charming and good looking, but they're not going to commit. Nope. That's they're too confused right now. They're they're trying to they're trying to figure out a way to get back together with somebody else. I mean, you could friend zone their ass and hang out, but that's probably as far as I would go with that. Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. A lot of swords in here. A lot of manipulation. A lot of possible screwing around that you might not even have known about. But you don't don't feel like you're stuck. You're not stuck. This person. Didn't live up to your standards. They weren't committing. Mm -mm. Not human slinky. No. You cannot stretch yourself out only so much to stroke somebody's ego. Sagittarius. Aquarius. But all signs are in here. Virgo. And that good old devil. I just feel like this person's not committing to anything. They keep their secrets. They put roadblocks in their own damn way. It's like they push forward it three steps and then they take four back. Not reliable. Not reliable. Not looking to be responsible for somebody else's emotions. All right, for fun, because we like fun here, don't we, cupcakes? Fun only. Source. Dead end. Breakup. I'm just drawing you a map, so when I tell you to go to hell, you know exactly where it is. a girl. Add a boy. Self-examination. If I was a bitch, I'd make your life a living hell, but instead, I'm just sitting back and let you do it yourself. One more. Wisdom. A wise woman or man once said, fuck this shit and lived happily ever after. And then you do have a little bit of a drama queen here. If you could stop the drama queen crap, yeah, that'd be great. All right, my cupcakes, that's what we have for you. Thanks for watching. Many blessings and we shall see you next time.